All right, today I'm going to do an unboxing of Creative's XMod. It's essentially a external sound card for a Mac or a PC. Of course, I have a Mac and I have an iMac and one of the restrictions of owning an iMac is you're unable to upgrade the uh, the sound card. My previous computers always had a Sound Blaster card in them, but with an iMac I don't have that that option. Uh, so I'm going with this external unit. Uh, it's been out since 1996, or I'm sorry, 2006. It's been out for a long time and originally retailed for $79.99 and I've seen it drop, you know, I think to $49.99 and now just recently and the reason I bought it, it dropped to $19.99 so it's a steal. I'm not sure if that means there's a new one on its way or what, uh, but I decided to go ahead and make, uh, make the purchase. Uh, it connects, it basically bypasses the uh, IMAX internal uh, audio card or integrated audio. Uh, I have, the, the IMAX does, I should clarify, the IMAX does have the capability of outputting a digital signal to a speaker system that can process it. Unfortunately, I have a Clips 2.1 surround sound system. Well, I guess it's not surround, but it's 2.1 sound, uh, which is excellent, but it doesn't have an optical input. So all the processing has to be done before it gets to the speakers. So that's why I went ahead and instead of replacing the speakers, which were pretty expensive, these were uh, $100, $150 when I first bought them, and they sound fantastic. I have no need to replace them. went ahead and bought this for only $20. Now, does it add extra uh, parts to my computer? It does add, it does take up a USB slot, which uh, fortunately I don't have enough of. But um, it should be worth it. Uh, and at $20, I figure you can't go wrong. So I'm going to see how the sound, how the sound improves with this new external system. Um, well, I guess I'll go ahead and unbox it. Let's see what we what it says on here. Of course, Mac OS 10 10.4. This shows you how old this uh, is, um, and I'm sure it can support 10.6 now. It's got earphones, the XMOD itself, USB cable, and the user's guide. And there's two ways to connect it. You can either connect it with the USB and connect your speakers to that, or you can connect your speakers directly to the device uh, and then power it with an external AC adapter, which I think is an extra option, but I, I don't need that. Let's crack it open. Pretty sharp, of course. It complements the Mac. I think that's largely why it was made was to uh, for Mac users. Slides right out. Pretty small. It's a nice little, nice little packaging. It's got a nice uh, steel or metal wheel, not plastic. Not sure what that is. Those are the earphones. I get uh, one of the uh, benefits of this type of setup is you can use this on a, a laptop, which of course has uh, a fairly limited sound card options. So we got looks like uh, aux cable, which I do need. I'm not sure what this is. Like a pouch of some kind. Okay, so this must be a pouch if you're if you have your laptop with you. This is probably going to be permanently fixed to my iMac, so I'm not going to be carrying it around. Yep, little pouch. So it's got a little compartment. I guess you could slide it in that way. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. This is kind of heavy, it must be the user manual. There's the USB cable. Manual. Maybe soft, no, no software. 
It says plug and play, so sh I shouldn't need any software. And that's all. all right. Let's see what's on the device itself. Looks like we have an on and off switch. Um, this is the right way up. X Phi crystallizer. I think this is related to to uh, creating a better sound quality from compressed audio. That's one of the features it mainly touts. So if you have an MP3 or online audio, it's supposed to enhance it. I'm not terribly interested in that because I, I, I doubt that sort of processing. Uh, x Phi CMS, CMS S3D must be related to uh, uh, sound processing sound for uh, a lot for more speakers or to create a, a, surround, a simulated surround sound effect and volume so and this is naturally volume control there's the USB and this is the audio out and this is your headphones and this is the audio in so I, I will use this and I will use this probably won't be using either of these unless I want to connect my headphones which I probably won't do too often all right, let's get the plastic off. Let's get a quick look at it. Well, it's a pretty nice looking device. It's got a little rubber feet, I guess, to hold on to the uh, table better. All right, well, that's, that's all. I'm not gonna hook it up right now because I'm gonna have to move around my iMac and knock over my camera again. So uh, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And again, that's an unboxing of the Creative X Mod. Thanks for watching.